Hello guys, welcome to another video today. In today's video, I'll be covering the energy in the world of Back Desert. So, first up, what is energy? So, energy is this muscle icon looking thing that is on the top left of the screen. So, energy, you have a limit, and this limit is uh, based on how much you can get them through a very soft getting knowledge. And the maximum you have is around like 500 or something, but it's, it's gonna take forever. So, most people get to up to 400 or something, since uh, around 400 is when you can start to like quote unquote make some money off of energy using your oats. And um, so, how do you get them? So, well, simply talk to people. As you can see, we have someone here. And you see that yellow exclamation mark bubble talking icon? That's where you know you haven't talked to them and you haven't gotten knowledge from them. Some also are indicated by this icon on the world map. So this question mark and there's a person underneath. That's also a person. It's something, let's say, like this one. So this one with the uh, monster icon, if you, can't, if you can see it. So they require you to kill monsters in that zone and for me the easiest one is actually talking to people and this is also like another monster one here. Also when you uh, reach them there will also be a question mark on the world on the map on the mini map so as you can see here. So these people are also the ones that you can talk to. So some of these icons on the world map shows up, some, a lot of them don't. Uh, same with this, so this one majority shows up, but there's a few that don't. So we're gonna simply talk to her. Now you, it says your energy is growing. So now we know that. So, next thing. How do you actually find these people like I mentioned? Only it's like a few show up on the world map and majority shows up on the mini map. And how do you know which one you need to talk to? Simply press the H hotkey, you will bring up this menu. Then towards the right, you see there's a like list of things you can do. Only sound don't give you energy. So for example, we go to life skills. You actually don't get energy from them. But if you go to character, which is where I got most of my energy from, you see that there's like obtain, obtain like all this stuff. Since I'm in Kelfian right now, I'm going to show you the Kelfian one. The other region one is pretty much the same. So people of Kelfian, we click on that. And as you can see, there's like a list, a lot more lists under it. To see like what energy you have obtained for each section and how many energy you have obtained in total. And have you unlock all of them. So for example, in this one, upper class of Kelfian. I got two out two energy, but I, I haven't gotten all of them since that's that's how much like you don't need to get all of them together. Some will require you to talk to all of them. So how do you know? Like so, let's see. We go to this one. So the one we need to talk to is apprentice, apprentice, Elionian, Elionian priest. So how do we know where this priest is? Simply go to this site, which I'll link in the description below. And we are going to go to character under Serendia. Serendia, I mean, sorry, Kelfion. And this one, we are looking for the Illionism. So this one. Then there's a list. It's exactly the same as this list. So third one. So this one, that's the one we need to talk to. Click on it. Then you click on this icon. Then there'll be a map. And some people actually comment on like where are they exactly on the map, like showing you like an icon. So here we know that the, this person is in the church. So what I'm gonna do right now, hop on my horse and go to the church. So right, I'm out at the gate of the church now. Now we're gonna go in and find the actual person. So as you can see, there it is. Talk to him. 
energy increased by 1. Now, as you can see, we've got 2 out of 2 energy, we can stop PR. So we don't even need to talk to this person. If you look at this thing again, so we go back, back, click on this, people calcium, and look at this. So require knowledge, 17 out of 18. So this list shows you like how many knowledge you need uh, for each category. But that's not the easiest method since I find that to be really annoying. You have to keep on looking at this. So what do you do with your energy? So there are many ways you can spend your energy. First is by gathering, which you can do like literally every location. I'll be making a guide on it. Then you can do milk gathering. So I have made a video on it already. Talking to people in the ocean for a certain node manager will also require energy to unlock the actual node for some reason. You can invest energy in your danger node for extra loot. So invest energy and put however many energy you want in it. There is also talking to people. So if I talk to this guy, for example, Alston, conversation. I can play the amenity game and as you can see on the top left, it gives me like a various of like different stuff I can unlock. For example, reaching 150 gives me the buff, elixir of last resort and so on. So um, there's also like greeting people. So if I press F5, as you can see, my energy went down, but like I, uh, my MNT went with him, went up. So that's all that. Then there's also another thing you can do with your ult is talk to him. And after pressing chat, if you have enough energy, it will give you the option to change for energy potions. So since I don't have any energy right now, so I can't do that. The ratio is one to five. So sorry, five to one. So five energy you have equals to one energy you get in potions. And there's the the biggest one is like 400 energy, which has a better ratio than the other one. If I search out energy potion, there's like four types. So this one is uh 400 to 50, while the rest is like this is 150 to 30, 100 to 20, 100 to 10. I mean 50 to 10. So what most people do is just get energy potions. And went from there. I don't do that since I'm doing milk gathering. So I don't have any energy potions with me. You can also get them on the pro shop under function uh, travel aid. I think. Yeah. Oh, here, yeah, that's energy potions. 200 pearls for 11 energy potion that's three stores 50 each that's a lot of energy so yeah so now finally how do you recover energy so your base energy recovery is one every three minutes as it says here However, if you have the camera silver blessing buff, it gives increases that to two per two energy per I mean, three energy per three minutes. So that's one per minute pretty much. There's also the temp buff. So villa scrolls, villa gate turn villa turning gates, that gives you another one, so that makes it to four per three minutes. Then finally you can sleep in a bed in your residence for Six per minute, six per three minutes. <clears throat> but the downside with the sleeping in the bed is that you have to sleep in the bed at that exact moment when the energy recovery ticks. So you can get the buff. So you can get the like plus two energy recovery buff. What I do is I just simply have the chemistry silver blessing on, and. When I'm out gathering or hunting, I'll have my uh, Villa Scroll buff on. You can get it for free if you have the... Do I not have it? Okay, I don't have it. So on the appeal, 
I mean, travel ape, temp buff, so secret book of old moon, so buy villa scroll at your camp site without having a villa invitation. You can also get a villa invitation uh, over to the, the almost desert region, so like here. And you have to find for turning gate, which is this one, the closest. Then you have to do something there to get a buff. I haven't actually done it yet. <coughs> so I don't know what you actually need to do for to get the invitation. And that covers all of, all of the energy stuff that you need to know about it. So in tomorrow's video, I'll be doing a gathering video. So you can use your energy efficiently. And I hope you guys find this video useful and see you in the next video. Bye.